But yeah, just look at all this art. Look at all these people enjoying this art in the park. And yeah, I love this, man. This is the, the stuff I love. I, I, yeah. It makes me very happy to be here. Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, we're visiting the Contemporary Museum of Art of Oaxaca. I hope I said that right. Um, let's go in there and check it out. I already paid for my entrance and I already filmed. I just want to show you guys a little bit of a uh, um, little bit of what's left of the All right, so this is just the, the gift shop. We already saw the museum and I'm gonna be showing you that in a second as soon as we're done with the gift shop. I know, usually the gift shop is the last thing. But. This is a very interesting gift shop. There's a lot of art. Usually in a gift shop, there's stuff that you don't want to buy. <laughs> Except for here. Look at that, all kinds of books, all kinds of cool stuff, so. Yeah, all right, so without further ado, well, let me finish seeing what's in this room. It's a very cool gift shop, actually. But anyways, if you think the gift shop is cool, wait till you see the rest of the museum. Well, the part of the museum that's actually open. So, all right, guys. I'll see you guys in the museum. Hey, guys. How's it going? And welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, we're going to be starting out here in the Contemporary Art Museum of Oaxaca. I think I'm saying it right. Um, now, most museums and things like that are kind of closed out here at the moment because of the situation. Um, even though almost everything is open, um, I think this is one of the only museums, if not the only museum, that's actually open at the moment. Today's video, we're going to be exploring this and probably exploring a few other things, right? So, hope you guys enjoy so far. Let's uh, start looking around and see what they have here. Give you a quick little look, a little tour of uh, the museum. And then we're going to continue throughout our day. So today we're just starting at looking at some really cool art. In fact, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to be filming around and then kind of like edit it out, put some music so that way it'll be a little easier to digest all this art that we're about to see. Oh, I love this piece. Very nice piece. Very interesting. 
says a lot. I love art. And as you guys already know, or are fully aware, um, if you guys have seen um, the trip that we made out to Cuba not too long ago, um, actually it's about a year ago now, um, over a year ago, um, we visited a lot of the museums there and I showed you a lot of the museums and a lot of the stuff out there. So we're doing the same here and uh, yeah. Bueno, pues eh, lo que le estaba mostrando a José es que este edificio probablemente es un edificio antiguo o un edificio colonial que esté restaurado. Entonces, una característica que podemos ver son los frescos que están pintados en, en, lo, que, pues en lo que ha quedado como registro de edificio antiguo. Entonces, todo esto son pinturas hechas con pigmentos naturales. Right. And so, actually, um, para de que vida un poquito más lo que ella estaba haciendo, eh, eso es lo que son estos frescos. Te voy a enseñar un fresco que ella hizo, ok? Ella aprendió esto también. And, right, which we're gonna meet. Um, I don't know if we're gonna be able to film him or not, but uh, basically, um, her teacher showed her how to make these frescos. And again, this is God, who knows, de que tiempo ya lleva esto ya, verdad? Wow, so this, yeah, this building might be from the 1800s and stuff like that, so. So, como ella estaba describiendo, um, y ya tuviste en la foto, te voy a enseñar unas cuantas fotos más de lo que ella hizo para que tenga una idea de cómo tiene que lucir esto acabadito de hacer y esto ya como luce ya más de cientos de años de, de uso o sea de es interesante uno lo aprecia mucho cuando uno aprende la técnica uno puede apreciar el contexto right. de donde estamos no solo es una exactamente museo yeah. sino también lo histórico que hay uh -huh. dentro del edificio exacto exacto Yeah, so, literalmente lo que ella hizo, que tenía un tamaño así como esto, así, se demoró más de una semana. En realidad fue como dos semanas lo que fue un, un, fue un ejercicio muy intenso, pero literalmente fue un pedacito así chiquitico y se demoró más de dos semanas nada más que to do that. Which, again, déjame enseñarte otra vez lo que ella hizo por si no lo había visto ya. Y esta pintura que me gusta tanto, 2020. Pero wow. Me encanta esto porque es just real life, you know, en vida real. El color rojo también muy, right? Y será hasta los guantes rojos. Yeah, it's really nice. I like that. I would hang this in my kitchen. <laughs> one piece no oh no 16 different pieces okay it's interesting how they put it like this it looks nice as one piece this gives me an idea about your art you could do something like this no it would look really nice yeah but she has tons of little paintings like this and i think something like that would look nice Of what that is. 
In my opinion, I like the meat one better. This one should get the honorary mention. I know, I'm obsessed with this one. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe I'll ask the guy. I'll call him and be like, hey, how much for that painting? It'd be like one Bitcoin. I'm like, all right, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was a joke, it was a joke. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not sure if we can catch it, capture it all on camera. Very psychedelic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but look at, I mean, the walls are filled with these frescoes. Man, I would have loved to have seen what this all looked like back in the day. Yeah. And this again, the simplicity of it. I mean, it's not much. I mean, you guys can see from the painting, but at the same time, it's like when you actually <clears throat> create art <clears throat> and you know how difficult it is to make something like this, same as the frescoes and, and other things like that, it's another level of appreciation. Same thing for cooking, same thing for any art. I mean, it's just like um, once you really know what it takes to make anything, period, the level of appreciation you know, goes to the next level. So for example, I know I cannot paint. I know I can't draw, I can't do any of this stuff. Like, my beautiful wife. <laughs> but, um, I do see her and others, you know, that do do this for a living and, and it's just the appreciation. Same as like when I look at somebody that does music, maybe how you guys look at me as a YouTuber or look at me when I cook. You know, just like when I'm doing my cooking and all that good stuff, how you guys look at me, um, you know, and for me, it's just a very effortless thing. But when I look at other chefs and other cooks, you know, doing certain things, again, you know, it's the same thing as her looking at the frescoes and all this other stuff, so. Look at that one. Either twins or Gemini or more than one uh, personality. <laughs> Again, you get to interpret it however you want, same as music, same as any other art. Slow down that room.
So about this museum at the moment, look at that. So this museum, all the people that are involved with this museum are basically on strike right now. And it's a, like a long story, but they're on strike because again, just the situation with the government, you know, um, they're not paying the employees. I'm not quite sure, but there is a little bit of a situation going on. Um, and a lot of it has to do with uh, the economics of uh, what's going on with everything else. So. Just wanted to share that real quick. Oaxaca is very, very interesting. I love it out here. It's uh, it's an amazing cultural city. I mean, everyone, everyone out there that is thinking about visiting Mexico has to visit Oaxaca. I don't give a crap. I mean, you, if you don't visit Oaxaca, you ain't seen Mexico. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, our little tour of the museum so far. Um, I know it was a little shorter um, than other museum tours that we've had because uh, if you guys remember again when we went to Cuba and we went to the museums there 
my god my god those things were you know, we were in there four or five hours at a time inside those museums that's how big and how vast and how much art were in those and i'm gonna link those at the end of this video so that you guys can check those out in case you're interested later on but um yeah it's time to get out of here and move on to the next stop Ready? All right, so we're gonna continue with the art theme in this episode and uh, check out the art garden. That's, um, you know, it was like a few blocks away from the actual art museum. So I'm just gonna show you around. It is a very, very quick look at, again, the art that's available here and most of this art as you know as you guys can see is art that was created probably very recently um, by a lot of very local artists you know obviously so but yeah so much more art here I'm literally um, eating my words because I always thought that you know, many that had a lot of art and, you know, just because I would see so many galleries and see so many things like that. But the reality is, wow. Again, look at all these prints here. So I'm just gonna give you, again, just a quick little walk around. So again, we're in the middle of, uh, I don't even know where we are exactly here, but again, you know, we're out in the open, we're in the middle. I gotta wear this here in this section, okay? Um, that's why you're seeing me wear it now, but it's not like, uh, it's not mandatory or anything like that but again this is like a private um showing a private little art thing here and the people that are you know behind this they would prefer to me to wear one so it's okay no big deal i'll wear it But yeah, just look at all this art. Look at all these people enjoying this art in the park. And yeah, I love this, man. This is the, the stuff I love. I, I, yeah, it makes me very happy to be here. So again, guys, I, I really hope you guys are enjoying so far all the videos and episodes I've been making. I don't know, um, look at that mezcal in a, <laughs> in a box. That's pretty cool. We definitely gotta try some mezcal. That's coming up later. We're gonna be doing mezcal tastings of all kinds of stuff, so. Wow, so much art out here. Look at all the way, you just keep it going all the way out there. Art in the park. And today is Saturday morning, by the way, all right? Still, still in the morning. I don't, I don't even think it's noon yet. I would say 11 in the morning still. <clears throat> but just wanted to show you guys because uh, I know a lot of you guys love art. I know this episode might not be for everybody, but I know there's a lot of you guys out there where you guys are eating this episode up just like I am because I love art and I love, you know, just things like this. And again, it's not the same, you know what I mean? It's really not the same in the sense of like, um, you know, seeing this on video and then coming out here and actually experiencing all this. Look at all these hearts. Look at all these hearts. So nice. And there's some music playing in the background. You know, I might be able to, you know, avoid the music, but if not, you know, if you hear some music in the background that I played, you already know why I'm just trying to avoid. Look at that, man. Man, the art out here is so cool, man. Like, in the city. I love I love all the art I've been seeing. I think we have this camera in the house. <laughs> Look at that. We li I literally have this camera in my studio um, right behind uh, where I normally sit every day. Part of a... Uh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> 
So chill, so awesome. Yeah, so I don't know. I see people not wearing their mask in this area, so I don't know. I just, uh, um, yeah, I want to show, I just want to show a little bit more. I'm literally, I literally want to show you guys. <laughs> I just wanted to give you a quick showing of uh, all the art, you know, in this little garden. In an art filled again i have so many episodes that i'm filming you know just like a food episode we got this little art episode we're making here again yeah look at there's just tons of art everywhere and everything is so beautiful not just the art but everything everything that the eyes can see <laughs> yeah exactly all right we already saw everything or anything can kick us out <laughs> but yeah again that's that's the beauty of it you know like um even though it was uh we ha you had to wear um a face mask while being in here you already saw plenty of people that were not wearing it so you know it is what it is and like this one And that's it all right so uh moving on to the next thing all right next stop let's go all right guys it's daytime and we're back here at uh, the church that we were talking about a little while ago so let me show you inside now there's a little bit more light Look at that. I gotta do some praying. Oh.
So right behind the church, that's the area we were just showing you right now. We just came from up there. And um, right behind me is just a bunch of art galleries. So again, just more and more art, just surrounded by art. Now in these private galleries, we might not be able to film, but we're gonna go check them out anyways. All right, let's go in here and check this place out. I feel like I'm in the artist studio. Is this studio of you? Oh. Eh? Is this the studio? Yes. Wow, okay, that's the artist. Yes, it's a lithography. Yeah, lithography. Look at this machine. Wow. Yes, it's a machine Francesa de 1909. Wow. French machine from 1909. Yes. And it's still in use. Yes. It's still in use. Yeah. And the other is from 1830. Okay. We're going to go check that one out in a second. And muchas gracias. Yeah. Yeah, so these are all the paints. It smells like paint in here. It smells like literally Christian studio. <laughs> so cool. But yeah, basically, you know, everyone just opens up their home to us to come check out all the awesomeness that is their lives. They're more than happy to share it with us. So let's go check out the other machine. In fact, look at this. Wow. How many lithographs has this thing created, huh? Look at that, that's the machine that was made in the late 1800s, or from the 1800s. So I guess this answers the question as to whether we can come into some of these private galleries and, and film. I guess the short answer, yes. There's tons of art everywhere here. You know, it might not be that easy to film and do all the things that I do, but man, it sure is fun. Right, I'm gonna go check out what the miss is. Trying to conserve as much battery as I can. I'm already down to two. <laughs> oh, look at that. All right. So, wow, what an amazing time. We just came from in there. Well, I, you know, I just showed you a little bit more of uh, you know what was in there and uh we had an awesome conversation with the guy that runs this place so cool look we even bought some art Is it? sure yeah let's take a look um but yeah we were in there having a look at okay so look check it out look at that that's a little litho, lithography i don't know lithography <laughs> But you guys already saw, we showed you um, what was in there. Um, but yeah, we, we spent about an hour in there right now, right? Just having a conversation with that guy and um, what a story. 
what an amazing uh, time we've been having out here so far. And my God, I, I cannot recommend this place enough. As you guys saw, as uh, we were walking out. So, great spot, great guy. Definitely come check it out if you're out here in Oaxaca because, uh, you know, again, you know, you're not gonna find uh, that machine, you know, those machines anywhere. That, that, that machine, there's only 30 of those left in the world. And uh, anyways, I can go on and on, but, uh, you know, we got a lot to record, we got a lot to show, we got a lot to see. So let's go to uh, where, uh, where he recommended now. So we're gonna go get some drinks, get our drink on, um, and keep keep on keeping on. So, all right guys, hope you guys are enjoying everything so far. Man, Oaxaca just uh, keeps getting better and better and better. Yeah, the guy even knew like a bunch of people from Merida, a lot of, uh, yeah, Everybody small world, small world, yeah, 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 small world. That guy knew a lot of people and, uh, okay, I don't even know who that is, but, <laughs> okay, so yeah, really awesome, really cool time, and, uh, my God, again, you know, just art everywhere, and, um, I know you guys have already seen a lot of these, you know, little loca lo locales, um, so I'm not gonna waste too much more time here with that, but, uh, that's it, on to the next thing. No, 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 no. Okay, so we're here now at La Popolan. Actually, La it's called, this place is actually called La Otra, which means the other place. So when we were at the lithograph place, um, they, the guy told us, hey, go to, the, go to the, this place called La Popolan, but don't go to that one because that was very touristy. Go to the second one that is owned by the same guy called La Popolan Dos. But we couldn't find it. We were walking around, we were kind of walking around everywhere. And then we figured out it's because it has a different name. And it's basically La Otra, which means the other one so this is where all the locals come and if you go to the la popular that's where all the tourists go anyways i'm gonna try some mezcal all right so to continue with uh, the food thing here um let's try some mezcal so So, so supposedly, yeah, again, you don't get a hangover from having this cow. I guess we'll find out soon enough. This is el padino? Yeah. Mm, okay, smoother. But I like that one better. Yeah, yeah this one's okay. This is good. It's good. They're both good. But this, not smoky at all. Almost no smoke. This, the Arroqueño, right? And Arroqueño is uh, more smoky. And I hate smoky flavor. I am not a smoky kind of guy. But mezcal, man, I love it. I never had it until I came to Mexico. And I got, now, you know, again, we're now here where mezcal was born. So definitely gonna have it. So we're, we're starting with these two. And then we're gonna have two different ones and see where the, the afternoon takes us. It's happy hour somewhere, right? Salud. Okay, I'm just take one more sip of this. This is a good one. No, I didn't. 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 
tell, but this is a little bit reddish. This is just clear. Okay, so. So the proper way to drink something like this is to sip it, to drink it. Same as tequila, you know, because us gringos, you know what I mean? There are gringos out there. You know, you just take the shot and wow, that is not the way to drink it. The way to drink mezcal, tequila, any one of these things is just like a, like a fine wine, like a fine whiskey, anything like that. You don't want to mix it with anything. She offered a bunch of things to mix it with, you know, like, um, but I was like, no, 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 we want it pure. Because that's really the way to have it, especially, you know, out here, you know I mean, at least for us, you know I mean, we wouldn't want to get the real flavor and uh, try out the real thing. So, all right, see you guys in a little bit. We're going to have a few mezcals and uh, plan our next move.